continued this conversation. Obviously, that was David Solomon of Prosperity, but also at the conference was Richard Singh, Bank United CEO, Bank United with branches in Miami and New York. He talked about potential obstacles to M and A in the acquirer's stock price. Take a listen. Expansion has been 10 years in the making now, so maps would suggest that at some point it will come to an end. And so we always worry about that. Uh, there is a fair amount of geopolitical concerns, uh, not that things that Im impact us directly or our clients directly, but indirectly. There's still a lot of uh, noise around what happens with China and trade policy. Uh, and then there are other geopolitical issues which could impact the economy. We're also going into an election year next year that will also raise the temperature uh, on, on that front. And also the Fed's uh, policy of uh, tightening over the last three years now. Uh, has had an impact uh, where the Fed goes from here. It looks like they're going to pause, but if they tighten more, that will also eventually have a chance. There's a probability that also causes some stress in the economy. You're in three what you might call perilous markets. You're in the South Florida market. You're also in New York competing against the majors and nationally as well. What are the risks associated with competing on those levels? I would say we're in actually the best markets in the country. Miami and Manhattan give me that combination any day. They have vibrant markets, they're doing very well. Uh, Manhattan never really went through much of a, a, a downturn uh, in 2008-2009. Miami did, but Miami has been such a rebound story, it's, it's hard to believe. So both markets are doing very well. Nationally, uh, we do some business, uh, certain specific kinds of lending across the country, but we are not seeing those signs of weaknesses. Uh, where the weakness might be are places that we're not players in. You know, there was a couple of years ago, there was some stress in the energy sector. Today, there's some stress in the agricultural sector, given, you know, the, the tariff issues with China. But for the most part, I would say 90 to 95% of the lending uh, uh, landscape looks very healthy. And our market especially look very strong. Potentially a big year or two for consolidation. Who buys? Who gets bought? <laughs> uh, so there are over 6,000 banks in, in America, which is... Uh, I don't think there's any country which has 6,000 banks. And that has to do with, with the way interest rate banking was. Uh, and the consolidation game started really in the mid-80s and has been going on. Since the downturn, consolidation really slowed down for a number of reasons. Uh, there is still a very strong case to make for more consolidation in the industry. However, if you look over the last three or four years, the few deals that have actually happened have not been rewarded by shareholders. If you look at the stock price performance of acquiring banks over the last three years of deals over, let's say, a billion dollars, uh, almost every one of them is actually lagging. Now, there are two deals that were announced earlier this year, and they were different kinds of deals. They were not acquisitions, but they were termed MOEs, or merger of equals, and they, the stock performance of the buyer has been surprisingly, uh, not surprisingly, it's been very good. So there is a lot of talk that is that the new uh, model for M&A. Uh, I'm not too uh, eager to call that the new model because uh, those deals are especially hard to pull off uh, the day after you announce those deals. But uh, that's something which could fuel more M&A over the course of the next couple of years. Are you saying you're not looking to acquire? Uh, our strategy very clearly has been that while M&A is always on the table, it's a secondary strategy. Our primary focus is always on organic growth. Uh, the, you know, if you can build it, don't buy it. Be patient. Don't don't use uh, shareholder capital uh, just to get there quickly. Just be patient and build it. And that's what we've done over the last ten years. Would you be open to being acquired? We always are. We're a public company. We're always there. And that was part of my conversation with Rajinder Singh, Bank United CEO at the RBC conference. It looks like it might be a big year for consolidation, guy.